because you're not really investing in Chainlink for the 100x. I'm sorry, right? Because that's improbable. But I know Chainlink has a lot of capital. They've been around since the beginning. The question is, though, can they really get to top five market cap? So people have always been asking, what do we think of Chainlink? Where is it going between now and next cycle? Let's do a long-term price prediction on Chainlink. So I'll go to token metrics, go to Chainlink. It's currently at $7.45. Uh, and I'm going to the investor grade. So investor grade is in the buy at 67%. FTV is basically seven and a half billion with about 54% of the tokens liquid at a $4 billion market cap. If we actually look at market cap here, it has a market dominance of 0.33%. And so basically a third of a percent of the market is chain link. Now, if we think the total crypto market cap is going to 5 trillion on average, right? Let's say it's going from 1 trillion to 5 trillion by the top of the bull run, which we think is going to be summer 2025, because historically speaking, Bitcoin has always had about 16 months of a bull run after a Bitcoin halving, which is slated to happen April next year in 2024. So if we go here, 5 trillion, if chain link just stays where it is in current market dominance, that basically means chain link is going to be at about $31. That's basically a 3x, not the greatest. 3x return. Is that something you want? That's a chain link just stays where it is. If it just maintains its market share, its market dominance. Now, obviously, chain link is not trying to expand. Now, they're basically growing cross chain. And let's say you're very, very bullish on chain link and that happens. Where will chain link go? Right. Let's say it's able to go from it's ranked 21st in market cap. Let's say it's able to climb that and actually gain more in market share. It's at half a percent. And basically $47, $46.5. That's going to give us about 5x. Not the greatest either. Now, let's say you're permable. You think this is going to the moon and beyond, and it's going to $155, basically. Let's say it gets 1.66% market share. I mean, let's say it goes to $155. So going from $745 to $155. That's basically almost a 20x return on Chainlink. Now, the question is, how realistic is that, right? So we have the bear case, the base case, and the moon case. Can Chainlink go to $155? I'll do both FDV and market cap, right? So at a billion market cap, that would be $155 billion FTV. That's probably not probable. For perspective, currently, with crypto being at a 1.22 trillion market cap, if we look purely at FTV, we've got Bitcoin at $615 billion FTV. So if Chainlink did $155 billion FTV, that would make it a top three coin. According to this. Now, obviously, the whole market will move, right? If it, if it all does a 5x FTV wise, that means Bitcoin would be at like 3 trillion. So if Bitcoin is at 3 trillion, Ethereum, let's say that Ethereum flipping does not happen. If Ethereum goes to basically a trillion in FTV, can Chainlink go to 155 billion? I would say, yeah, that's actually possible. That's basically making Chainlink a top five market cap coin, right? So let's say you, you're part of the Link Army, the Link Marines, and you're super bullish on Chainlink, on Link, and you think the moon case is Chainlink is a top five coin market cap in FTV, or in this case, FTV. That means you think Link can go to $155. Now that's the moon case for a reason, right? So in terms of probabilities, I would say, let's say the bear case is, I don't know what, 30%. And let's say the base case is 60% chance of, of probability. I would say the moon case is probably 10% chance. Now all these are just random numbers, not data-driven numbers. I'm just being subjective here with my own opinion. But let's say there's a 10% chance that Chainlink can go to that, right? If you think that's the moon case, if that happens, I mean, the whole market would have to really make a move and Chainlink would really have to outperform the market as a whole. Now, the question is, how likely is that to happen? See, Chainlink connecting the world to blockchains uh, is basically known as the Web3 Oracle. They're the clear market leader. In what world can Chainlink get to over $150 and to $150 billion FTV? They would really have to innovate. And the question is, can they do that by going cross chain? Now, I know they've been looking to improve cross-chain, change their tokenomics and everything. Cross-chain by Chainlink, right? The era of secure blockchain interoperability has arrived, is what they're claiming. Here you have this logo of basically them talking to Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, and Avalanche, and Optimism. And they're claiming that basically this will be simplified token transfers, reliable transaction execution, scalable architecture. Now, I'm not sure how bullish I am on this, but I know Chainlink has a lot of capital. They've been around since the beginning. Uh, for those of you who've been with me since the beginning, you know, I was an early investor in Chainlink back in 2016 in the private cell. Now, I unfortunately, unfortunately did not hold that long. However, it's good to see that they're still around. The question is, though, can they really get to top five market cap? If that happens, I think they definitely will have to become the market leader when it comes to on-chain oracles, but also cross-chain. 
but I do think they have the resources and the capacity to potentially do that. Let's actually compare the whole sector here. Let's look at infrastructure projects. So as of today, Chainlink is basically in terms of FTV, third in FTV. Now I would ignore V systems. This seems like a high float project. Filecoin, not the best tokenomics. So out of all these large caps, it does have the most reasonable. If we go purely based on market cap, Chainlink is still the, the clear leader in terms of infrastructure projects. It's the blue chip of inf infrastructure projects. Now, the question is, does Chainlink make more sense over Bitcoin? Does Chainlink make more sense over are the large caps? So if you're looking purely at large caps, I think Chainlink could be a viable choice because you're not really investing in Chainlink for the 100x. I'm sorry, right? Because that's improbable. You're investing in Chainlink because you want something that's nice and steady, that's safe, that's not going to be a low cap altcoin that's going to potentially get wrecked or has a high probability of getting wrecked where you lose over 99% of your funds, you're basically finding a blue chip top 20 market cap project that could outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum. So from that perspective, Chainlink actually does make sense, especially if they have all these new products coming out to, to go cross chain and truly really become part of the big narrative of cross chain and multiverse or multi chains. I think that is possible. But if we go purely based on its competitors, currently it's 21st in market cap. Can it suppress and jump ahead of all these? But I, I would say my perspective is Chainlink definitely top 15, maybe top 10 project. But that's kind of my perspective. Uh, that's my price prediction. To, so basically, kind of going back, we had Chainlink basically is at $7.50. If crypto goes to five trillion market cap basically bear case let's say like 31 dollars about a 3x by summer 2025 base case we're looking at basically about 47 bucks let's say 50 bucks and i think the moon case is 155 dollars which is a 20x so that's my take let me know what you guys think thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it we have even more content for you at tokyo metrics get there using the link down below